In this video, we will cover battery charging and maintenance for the IF-1200A. The heavy lift drone uses two Tattoo 12S batteries for flight and the Tattoo TA-3000 charger to balance and charge these batteries. The flight batteries contain multiple cells and need to be balanced to ensure maximum performance. As a part of the pre-flight check and before charging, we recommend inspecting the battery to ensure there is no damage or bulging. If there is, discontinue use of that battery and contact customer support. If the battery has been stored in a low temperature environment below 5 degrees Celsius or 41 degrees Fahrenheit, you will need to preheat the battery to normal operating temperatures 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit before charging or flight. We advise that you do not perform heavy operations with a cold battery. Always allow the battery to reach a normal operating temperature before use. To get started, select a location for the charger and the batteries. Ensure the space has airflow and that the charger's fans are not blocked. Now connect the AC power cable to the back of the charger. This charger does not have a power on button. It will automatically turn on when supplied with power. We recommend using a dedicated power strip to turn the charger on and off. To begin charging, plug in the black balance interface cable to the charger. This cable is critical and will balance the voltage between cells. Note the small white connector is not used. Then plug the balance interface cable into the battery. And then plug in the yellow battery's charging port connector into the charger. Repeat this process for the second battery. To initiate standard charge, press and hold the standard button until charging begins. For fast charging, hold down the fast button in the same manner. Keep in mind, fast charging will reduce the battery's lifespan if used consistently over time. Verify both batteries are charging. The LED lights on the battery will trickle up and the LCD display will indicate the charge of the battery. Depending on how depleted the batteries are and the charging mode selected, charging times may take anywhere from 30 minutes to one hour. Once the batteries are fully charged and the charger LCD screen indicates done or idle, it is no longer charging and it's safe to disconnect the batteries from the charger. Each 12S battery cell should be around 4.20 volts. Due to the natural hazard of LiPo batteries, we recommend that you do not leave the charging batteries on near a flammable surface, charging overnight, or left unattended during charging. We recommend charging the batteries in parallel and never unplug the yellow battery cable from the charger while charging. To protect your batteries and extend their lifespan, we recommend discharging the batteries if they will not be used for more than five days to a 40 to 70% charge. If the batteries are fully charged, they will automatically begin to discharge using the intelligent mode feature built into the battery. Note that the battery temperature will increase during the discharge process, which is normal. If the battery will not be used for a longer period of time, or if it is to be shipped to a location, we recommend putting the battery into storage mode using the charger. Putting the battery into storage mode will either charge or discharge the battery to a voltage that is most stable for the battery. To start, plug the charger in, then plug the black balance interface cable into the charger and the battery. Note the white connector is not used. Now plug the yellow connector from the battery into the charger. Then hold the storage button for five seconds. The charger will beep and the LCD display will indicate storage mode. Once this process is complete, the LCD display will indicate done or idle. If the batteries will be stored for an extended period of time, we recommend they be cycle charged, meaning charged and then discharged to storage voltage every three months to ensure the best service life of the batteries. We also recommend storing the batteries in a dedicated fireproof container and in an environment where temperatures generally would not exceed 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. For additional information regarding your aircraft's flight batteries, please visit inspiredflight.com and head to our support page.